good old winter. Are you just sitting around thinking, when will it end? Oh. Just waiting for something interesting to happen. I don't know about you, but I'm not very good at waiting. So let's make something interesting happen. Let's go camping in minus 35 Celsius. Let's see how we get on. And as usual, I won't be taking much kit, no sleeping bag, no tent, none of that stuff. Um, but because here in Scandinavia, you only get four hours of light at the moment, I'll have to set off in the darkness in the morning. So I'll see you in the morning. Morning. It's thick snow, hard to walk through. It's all frozen on top, so it's like solid ice on top. But the sun's coming up, so let's find a place to camp, shall we? So I need to get a fire on and fast, because it's very cold. Oh, that feels so good, so good. Getting slightly panicked because this fire keeps going out, so bear with me. Right, hopefully that's gonna take. Oh, so much work. Jeez Louise. Oh. Oh. Just gonna defrost my face for a minute. Oh, it's brutal. I didn't bring any kit. I brought a few cutting tools and ax and a few knives and saws and um, some bushcraft mallets to chop up wood easier and things like that but apart from that no shelter no um sleeping bag so that's half the fun of it isn't it i've maybe got a couple of hours of light left i'll uh, scavenge a bit more wood to cut up i think so i can get this fire blasting all night and i'll kick out some of this snow make it a little bit better my feet are frozen though, so I'm just gonna warm my hands up, sort my feet out, and I'll make that, and I'll be back with you. <sighs> they heat the batteries up as well. I don't want them to die while I'm out here, so it's all for nothing. We'll see if this footage ever makes it to light. Just need to control my breathing, it's so cold. Oh, that is beautiful. Nearby village is recording. 37 minus 37.7 so far so i don't know what's going to drop to overnight <sighs> something tragic has happened just thought oh, i'll get on some water on the boil for a little coffee that'll sort me right out 
and my coffee that was in this has disappeared. So I've obviously dropped it somewhere along the way, which is pretty irritating, but hot water it is. Woohoo! Get that boiling away. I don't even care if there's little bits in it, to be honest. Need to find some more wood before it gets dark. Wow, it is uh, pretty special as soon as you get away from the fire. Find some wood. Ah, this bit of this is trying to film it. So I'll put you away for a little bit. See you in a second. Oh, that wasn't a good idea. Uh, dry my gloves on. My fingers are killing. I'll stop whinging in a minute once I warm up. So much better near this fire. Right up my bum. Reason why I didn't bring a tarp or anything is just because putting a tarp up doesn't really make that much difference. And what's the fun in it? I'm gonna see if it's possible without things, hence why bare minimum kit. So otherwise, I think it'd be a bit too easy. But you never know, I might not even make it the night, I might bail. I've at this point, it's grim already, so when it gets dark, we're really in trouble. And I'll stop uh, whinging in a minute once I've heated up a little bit. Mmm, flavourings. That snow water is going to be delicious, isn't it? Not overly bothered at this point, to be honest. Just want some liquids, and it's got warm liquids, so that'll be nice. Oh, -ho! that'll do me. Let it cool down a bit. Hopefully, it don't burn my scarf because. I'm going to have to put that on in a minute. We'll see how that lovely brew tastes. Might actually put some pine needles in it. Make it a bit fruity, won't it? I really need to improve my little seat for the night. So I'm going to go off and find some things before I go. I better put everything around this fire just to 
get defrost in a bit. It's gonna be smoky light, but oh, pure luxury that now. It's like being sat on a luxury sofa that. It's not. It's not at all. <laughs> Try and get this fire pumping a bit more before the darkness hits. It's not putting off enough heat yet. Everything's just too frozen. Come on fire. It's just not having it. It really needs to be blazing and it's not. It's just not. It's taking too long to defrost all the wood. It's just charring it and not pumping out the heat. And there's a lot of silver birch in there as well. Worst thing is my toes are absolutely killing. Has anyone actually found good boots that keep your feet warm? I used to have some really good um, Baffin Impact boots, but they last like six months and the bottoms come off. And they don't really keep your feet that warm. Not when it's below minus 20. I don't think they exist. But if you know of any, let me know. I'd be interested. I like to know some good options. It seems uh, Baffin failed me. I don't know any other good Arctic brands that are decent. Let's get some more delicious water on, shall we? Oh, spoil yourself, lad. I do not recommend this, by the way. It's your fingers and toes that hurt the most. Ridiculous. Like needles. My face is okay now because I'm near the fire, but still my fingers and toes are absolutely wrecked. I'm gonna think I'm going to have to put my feet in the fire. I'm going to take my gloves off and put my hands in the fire right now. Ah. Oh. Whoa! Right, I'm gonna wait for my little delicious water to boil and uh, I'm gonna listen to a little bit of music. I'll be back with you soon. Hopefully before it gets dark, because I think it's gonna get dark real quick. And then we're in trouble. Well, hopefully not. Spilt my water, so I've had to put a new bit on. This fire's creating a lovely little delve in there, though. I'm hoping that I can uh, just bang on some more frozen bits on it and it'll ignite. Now I've burnt away the snow. <sighs> Even just filming this is a nightmare, though, because I've got one of the batteries under my armpit to keep it alive, and I can only sh film things in really short bursts. So I'm sorry, this video is going to be all over the place. If any of this even shows up. I don't know what the light's like or anything. But if I survive, we'll see. Come on, buddy. I've got to say that keeping your body off the snow really makes a massive, massive difference. Obviously, if you can build something that raises you off the ground, then you're laughing. But in this sort of snow and cold, I'm not foraging around for great sticks to build a big old shelter and all that nonsense. Because it just will zap you and yeah, you'll probably lose your fingers in the process. To find some more wood. Some big thick bits would be ideal, but pff, slim pickings. 
biggest problem I'm having is my feet. Absolutely ruined. I, uh, as soon as you take them away from the fire, you're in trouble, big trouble. The pain is real. I'll tell you that for nothing. Right, I'm gonna find some sticks, some logs, hopefully, some dead branches. But we'll see how we get on. <sighs> Gone badly. <sighs> and I'll come back and the fire is looking grim. <sighs> get a delicious water out. <sighs> I need to get my feet in this. Oh, I can't even feel them anymore, like solid, I can barely bend them. That's me full force trying to bend my toes. Ah! Come on, mate. Come back alive. I'm surprised the darkness has still not hit. It's a bit grim, but it should be pitch black by now, surely. Come on, buddy. Yes, that one's bending, look. Beautiful. Oh. Sorry, this video is just going to be me moaning. But if you could feel this, then uh, you'd understand. Keep having moments where I think, oh, my fingers are going to get frostbite. That sort of dead, numb feeling. Get them all warmed up. Oh, that is beautiful, though. Beautiful. Scarf is frozen solid. Rock hard. <laughs> Here we go. The darkness is coming. Uh, it's going to be beautiful. And I think about now, if I wasn't filming this, I probably would have given up because my toes are absolutely ruined and killing. But let's soldier on. <laughs> Without this fire, you'd stand absolutely no chance in this cold. You'd be done within minutes. It's created a really nice hot pit though. <sighs> Boiling hot now. Beautiful. I can feel my fingers at least and my face is not frozen solid. I have to momentarily uh, put my feet in the fire but that's okay. <laughs> slowly burning down to the forest floor about a foot deep so far it's probably about a foot and a half deep I reckon which we will see by the morning if I'm still alive if the batteries are still alive so at the moment I'm keeping the other battery under my armpit I do have to be like on top of the fire the second that I leave to go and find more wood, it is brutal, absolutely brutal. I can't explain how disgustingly cold it is. Next to this though, not too bad. You probably can't see, but my trousers do keep uh, momentarily setting on fire. But it feels nice, so whatever. 
I could sit and watch fire for hours and hours on end. Amazing, isn't it? Stupid little animals. We can't live without it, eh? Anyway, it's got dark now. So it's head torch time. And I'll try and conserve some battery because they're just dying real quick. Got about 50% left on this one. And thankfully it is uh, the dead of winter so all the bears are asleep because uh, this is the old most infested area for bears in Europe apparently. So I do see them when it's not winter. But like I said, thankfully they're not around at the minute. A few wolves, a few lynx etc but that shouldn't be too much of a problem in fact it would be great if some wolves knocked by or just some howling that would make this video a little more exciting wouldn't it anyway I'm going to get some more wood and get this fire pumping again there's somebody on a snowmobile over there hilarious if they come across me down here I'm like, what? Look what I've come across. This is the spot um, that I did the minus 20 Celsius uh, video. You can see a massive branch has snapped off from up there somewhere. So lucky that didn't happen while I was uh, camped because I was camped just here. You can see it's a big old branch. I'll cut that up and burn it. Oh. oh, that was horrible. Come on, fingers. The pit's getting nice and big though. Nice and boiling hot, which is beautiful. Ah, oh, there we go. I can feel my fingertips again, at least. It's a lot of work getting the wood and chopping it up and all the rest of it. I've got this little bit of wood here. But I think it's elm or something, so it's not great for burning. Just going to heat myself back up after that little expedition. I'll tell you, if you find silver birch, I found a few uh, branches and snapped them up. Oh, they pump out the heat. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Whereas these, which will be like old pine or something, are uh, they're so frozen. They're rubbish, but at least they burn for a long time. Keeping it lit. I need to build this back up into a big job a job for the night time so i need to get on with that i'll be back with you in a minute move this big bad boy that i found i was going to do a little shelter thing with this but i'll probably end up chopping it up and burning it to be honest uh, in fact i might just put it on now instead of sawing it it's a bit of a beast but it'll do the trick once it's defrosted anywhere sorry you probably can't see because it's head torch you can't see me now either but that should burn nicely oh, it's actually pretty comfortable here now before i was really questioning what i was doing and if i was even gonna survive but now with this pumping like this honestly it's not too bad probably famous last words like right i'll save a bit of battery get myself warmed up i'm gonna make a little bit of a better a uh, bit of bed underneath me and uh, sort a few things out and i'll be back with you momentarily <laughs> Right, 
right, I'm going to listen to some music or a podcast or something. And unless anything uh, dramatic or anything like that happens, I shall catch you when it's a little bit lighter. Or maybe later, because I have to go and get more firewood, that's for sure. Because I'm burning through it at an alarming rate. But we'll see what happens. Wish me well. <laughs> see you soon. to get a bit of light fire's got a bit dull look a giant crater over the night but some good news is i found the coffee in my pocket i'm wearing two pairs of trousers it's in my under trousers so i'm just gonna boil some water now and have a nice morning coffee but I'll be back with you when the light's a bit better. It's a bit grim still. <sighs> but I'm alive. So it's nice to see the light again. Because it was dark for so long. And my battery on my phone got to the very bottom. So I couldn't listen to anything. It was just silent and pitch black, which seemed to last forever. So it's nice that there's some light coming back now. I'm really looking forward to this coffee. I feel absolutely frozen solid. Disgusting coffee is ready. Bear my lips on that. That feels beautiful though. Oh, nice warm pot. Oh, I'm melting my gloves. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna drink this coffee. Now I'm going to kill off this fire and clear up the area where I Morning again. Sorry about that. All my batteries finally died. But I've made it home, thankfully. And uh, the va final verdict of that is don't do it. It's way too cold. Um, but you got to try these things, I guess. And I survived, so that's the main thing. And uh, thanks for watching and coming along for the ride. And hopefully I should catch you soon. I'm going to go and get warm, have a nice bit of food, because I'm not eating for a long, long time. So, yeah, see you soon. Oh, 
over, yeah, in the middle of his eye Some man are faking, then they ask why Not much there that I can co-sign Do my own thing in my own time Life is mental, never been gentle Feel like a higher one-time rental Long time, yeah, it's a business mentality Jump on the mic, it's a fatality, it's mental Another day, another dollar You and yourself like there's no other Another day, another dollar Just you and yourself, no other Another day, another dollar You and yourself like there's no other